right, day 89, 89 consecutive days of walking at least one mile. I put the camera on, we'll get going. I think Ranger wants some food first though. You hungry, buddy? You want some food? All right, come on. You wanna do a fist bump this morning? All right, good job, buddy. Good job. You want to say anything? You got anything to say? You want to say anything? You want to do fist bump again? You look like you do. You do? All right, two in one day. You're on it today, buddy. All right, here's some more food for you. You already ate breakfast once. You don't want to be watched while you eat. <laughs> All right, Get this camera on and get going. Two fist bumps in one day. That's a record for Ranger. Uh, sometimes he'll do it four or five times in a day if he wants to be petted or something. All right. Let's get going here. It is not warm today. It is not sunny today. I got on a long sleeve shirt and a sweatshirt. And now I'm putting on another coat. All right, let's get going, get the camera going. It's still working, I don't know. Somebody left a Halloween bucket at the gate the other day and I keep hoping somebody will come back and pick it up, but I'm probably gonna throw it away, I guess, I don't know. Somebody just left it here. Still working on the pipes or something here for at least another week or more, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All right, let me start the timer. We'll get going. All right. Put in your guesses. How far I'll go, how long it'll take. Try to walk a little bit different route today. Maybe the other side of the main street. How many Teslas we'll see? Over under, we'll say 15 and a half. Because here's two right off the bat. One. Two. Now these two are always here. Let's say 15 and a half muscle cars. Let's go with kind of a high number today. Go down the main street. Say eight and a half. We'll set it high today. Dogs. Hmm. Not going to see a lot of dogs, I don't think. Two and a half. Delivery trucks, two and a half. See what we see. Always something. What have we seen this week? Saw a lot of stuff this week. So you saw that wreck with the ambulances and the fire trucks. I guess that was earlier in the week. Saw the cat hanging out on the two-story window pane. That was last week, I guess. Walked out on the pane. It's hanging out it's like a three or four inch window pane on the second story. A guy was sitting at his desk and let the cat come out. I guess he does it all the time. Seemed pretty comfortable about it. Saw a lemon yellow Chevy Chevelle. Looked beautiful yesterday. Saw a green Bentley going down the street. Saw an Indian Scout motorcycle. All kinds of stuff this week. Harley motorcycle. I saw a motorcycle yesterday. I didn't know what it was. Didn't have any name on it. Had some type of insignia. I'm going to check that out. Look at yesterday. See if you know what it was. I don't know what it was. It's always something. Never know what we're going to see on these walks. Yesterday, uh, it was a couple days ago, I saw the two black labs. I petted them, and the yellow lab. Saw a 60, I think it was a 62 white Corvette. I'd never seen that car before on the walk. Always something.
supposed to rain uh, tomorrow, I think. I don't know. That's when I think we're done with the rain. It, another day of rain. There goes a, a little Porsche, I think. I don't know. There's another Tesla 3. <laughs> Had a lot of rain this year. Uh oh, not gonna make it across the street. Oh boy. I'll walk over there today if I can get over there somehow. A lot of traffic. Let's see what's going on. What kind of cars come down through here? Number five. No, he stopped. Number five Tesla didn't make it. We had to cross the street right here. on this side of the street and see what we see sometimes I have before but not very often here's a Mustang from the turn of the century that's a new phrase of the week turn of the century like we're back in the 1800s an apartment building here middle of all these there goes a Ford Bronco I haven't seen many of those lately or haven't just taken notice I'm talking about uh, Ford Bronco OJ died yesterday made the Bronco infamous the white Ford Bronco 94 the slow speeds chase without cowlings but I think uh, I think they stopped making them for a while after that and now they seem to be super popular again it's another oh, that's the same one I see quite a bit of those Ford Broncos now goes a two-tone Mustang I haven't seen that before black and white license plate 5.0 let's check it out pretty good looking car wow is that a Mustang that's a coyote it's on a Mustang body though now he's seen a saline, a Shelby, and now this Coyote, all on a Mustang body, but it's not a Mustang. This is GT. But it's not a Mustang. The Coyote, I guess. They use that Mustang body for a lot of different types of cars. Apparently, unbeknownst to me. Got fat tires on the back, look at that. That is a good looking muscle car. That's another, the second one I've seen today. Second muscle car, I've seen like six Teslas already. Always something, never seen that before. 
coyote. So don't think so. Walk up to this street and go down it for a bit. I never I think I've ever walked down it before. It's an old beat up. I think it's a Celica. Toyota. I don't know if that's a Celica or what. I've definitely seen better days. Goodness. Woo! I don't know what it is. It is a Celica. Somebody on a skateboard or something. Yeah, it's kind of quiet in here today. Oh, there's an old Corvette. Looks like it's from the 60s. You're not going to be able to see it too well. Yellow. What year is the Corvette? 67. 67, man, it looks in great shape, huh? Wow. Beautiful. Have a good day. Good looking convertible 67 net. Couldn't see the front of it though. Definitely would have been the car of the day if I could have seen the front. It looked good from the back. Number nine, Tesla up here. Now you see at least it seems like at least one vintage car on these trips. There's a periwinkle. Oh, that's a Bronco or what up there? Kind of looks like a Bronco. Yeah, it's a Bronco. Periwinkle. I always see something interesting on these walks if you look hard enough. Vintage car, usually, usually at least one. 67 vet. Here's an alley. Too much going on down there today. I have never, I don't think I've ever, I never, I think I've driven on this street once. I never walked on it. I don't believe. Well, let's see what's happening on this street. Looks like a neighborhood that would have a vintage car or two. A lot of cars. Go down one more block here. Looks like these are track houses from the 60s. I think they just came through here and built a hundreds of these type of houses because they all look just alike. I think they used to, a lot of these people worked at Northrop Grumman, I think. You can see these houses are almost exactly the same. Some of them are still around. I think they're from the 60s. Couple big crows. Caw, caw. All right. I'm thinking I've never walked back here before. I mean, driven. I know I, you know, I've ever walked either, but I recall these streets are dead ends. House for sale. Let's see where I'm at. 60. 
I don't think I can get out down here. There's a... Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? They're building a house here, or two or three. Probably a three on a lot, I assume. Not sure why. They got blocked off back here, but I don't think I can get across. Like a stop sign or something. Look at that. It's weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird back here. Private drive, no entry. What's going on? No trespassing. Palm Villas. Huh. Yeah, well, got like a little putting green back there. Interesting. Can't get past here. No trespassing. Huh. Well, it's like kind of weird. It's like super private, but the houses don't look that. Outrageously expensive or anything. I don't know. It's kind of... <laughs> There's the dog oh, barking out the window of the car. Kind of weird. It's a dichotomy. They have like, it seems like they have a lot of privacy and stuff and big lots. But beat up cars and you know, all these houses seem to have like two lots and stuff. But kind of weird. Like expensive taste, but the places don't show it. I don't know. You know weird. Hello. See, I don't think I can get across. I'm gonna have to go all the way back out, but. I'll walk up one more of these and see if I can get across. If it's weird, it's like a apartments back there, but then they had a putting green. Like some of the things were expensive taste, but houses and like privacy and all this, but then the houses look run down. Weird. Another Tesla, the number that is 10 or something. Let's see if I can get across here. I don't know if I can or not. Not, not a through street again. Weird. I just walk up here and back, I guess, and head back. Up. Now that's a railroad tracks back here, but I don't think I can get across. One house? I guess so. There goes the train. I don't think I can get across up here though. Yeah. That trainers right on top of these houses. Gotta be loud. I'm not going to see it much that I could get across. Looks hard to get a jump over this. No way to get across.
You know, one more block and I can get across. I don't think I can. All right, let's keep it going. You know, one more block I can get across, I think. I pick up the pace. Already, I'm already at a half. Oh, already at point eight. It looked like I could cross on the next block. All right, yeah, I might as well. Already here. Train was pretty loud. Let's see what we see on the next block. Is it one house? I don't know. It's kind of weird. I think it's, there's no landscaping. The windows are all shut up. Eclectic part of the neighborhood. Well, maybe this is two houses. I don't know. Weird. Definitely a different part of the neighborhood. I think it's two houses. I like no, I don't know. I guess it's got its own concrete and stuff. There's no yard and no landscaping and, and weird. Oh, there's an old house here. Actually, has a two-car garage. It's from I don't know, maybe 60s, least. Maybe older, 50s maybe. Hope I can get across up here. It looked like I could. I don't know, we'll just have to go see. Railroad crossing, that means I can. All kinds of stuff going on in their yard. Pictures and I don't know. It's definitely an odd, odd part of the neighborhood. Now oh, look at this house. There's another Mustang. Is that three muscle cars? Now see, you got a house like this. It's weird. Got to be the most expensive house in the neighborhood. I think you always want to buy the least expensive house in the neighborhood. It increases your property value. It's all kinds of like two houses. I guess it's two on a lot. Back in the day, both single-family units, but ranch style. And here's where you can walk down the railroad track if you want, I guess. Not walking down there, though. I could have. I don't think it's going to be that interesting to walk down there. Nah, I walk up this next street. Kind of cold. It's a weird houses. No rhyme or reason. Another Tesla, I don't know what number that is, 10? I don't know, lost count. Another Mustang, I don't know what that is, a five? 10 Teslas, five Mustangs? 
It was a custom painted something way old. I mean, definitely been used and abused. It's an Audi. I still drive it though. Well, if you're playing along, write down how many days in a row this is for you. 10 days, 20 days, 30 days, how many miles you walked. What's the longest walk you've done? The most interesting thing you've seen on your walk. This is day, what did I say? 89, trying to go for 100. I think I'll probably make it. I do a hundred days in a row. Be a third, of, almost a third of a year. We got a fountain here. What's going on? Look at that. We got a fountain. Seen. Several houses with fountains. That one's actually working. A working fountain, oh boy. We'll hang around till the end, we'll see what Ranger's up to. I'm sure he's done eating by now. Two fist bumps in one day. Can you believe it? It's a SL550 Mercedes. Good looking car. We got that uh, mat. Black mat. Another Tesla. I don't know how many that is. Ten. That's stuff painted on the back and everything of this one. Doberman. Um, we're sitting in that car. And look, a Doberman was barking. An old station wagon. Buick. It's from the 60s, I guess. I don't think they drive it much. It's starting to rust out and stuff. That's what they used to drive before the SUVs. Buick Sport Wagon. Green. Hmm. Like it's something from the Brady Bunch. There's a Mustang. Let's see what this one is. Well, I say it's a Mustang. I'm not sure what these are anymore. It says, a, it says it's a Ford. That doesn't mean it's a Mustang. Well, it's got a Mustang logo in the front. I'm not sure. I think I walked by this car the other day. This is a Shelby. This is a Ford Shelby. It's not a Mustang, but it's on a Mustang body. It's a good looking car. Top performance. GT500. I think said, I thought he said it's Shelby. Yeah, it says Shelby on the back. Must have a big engine in it. But it is not a Mustang. It's a Ford Shelby. But it looks like a Mustang. And then this is 
this doesn't say it's a Mustang, but it's got the Mustang logo. So I'm assuming it's a Mustang. Let's see if it says on this side of the car. It does not say Mustang anywhere, but it's got the Mustang logo. And it says Ford, but it doesn't say Mustang. Yeah, I don't know. How many muscle cars is that? Eight? I think they've all been Mustangs or on a Mustang body. Here's a tricked out, customized truck of some sort. Not sure what this is. It's a Ford or Chevy, I assume. No. Look at the wheels and hubcaps. I don't think I'm going to find out what it is. Got a customized paint job. Nope. Not going to find out what kind of four that is. Boy, a car wash not doing any business much today. It's supposed to rain. Here's this Coyote, and it's on a Mustang body too. Saw that on the way in, 5.0. Again, on a Mustang body, but it's not a Mustang. Coyote, GT. Not an interesting, like a, a lot of interesting Mustangs on this walk, or on a Mustang body. All right, this video is going to be a part one and a part two, not two walks, but a part one and a part two. I'm going to get across here. There's another Tesla. That is 15, I think. Fifteen Teslas and eight or nine muscle cars. Another station wagon. And that looks like it's from the 80s. Looks in good shape though. I don't see many station wagons in good shape. And that's a Buick. Let's see what it is. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what model it is. It's a Buick. Station wagon of some sort. It's weird they don't have the name of it anywhere. It's in good shape though. Yeah, you just don't see anybody really keeps a must uh, an old station wagon in good shape I don't know what it is it just says Buick it's interesting <laughs> they saw that station wagon a few minutes ago sport wagon and it was beat to heck that was probably 20 years older though and another Tesla like 16 Teslas or something I don't know I'm gonna hit the over the over on the Teslas and the over on the muscle cars. Probably see at least one or two more. There's another blue one. I think that's 17. Here's a black one, 18. And there's our first Charger, Challenger. And another Tesla, the 19. And another one at the red light, 20. And another muscle car. Nine, 10, I don't know. Let me know how many that is. Like 20 Teslas and 10 muscle cars, another. Another 